up you guys, it's Heidi I just realized that I perfectly blend into the background But I'm too lazy to change, so just ignore that <laughs> You guys haven't been following my Instagram I actually just got back from England I spent two weeks there and I just had the best time A little self promo by the time this video goes up, my England vlog would have been up as well So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below Or you can just wait till the end of this video where you can just click the link there I would say 80% of the things in this haul are clothing pieces because the weather over there was much hotter than we expected and we can't really wear the clothes that we brought with us which was a huge bummer but on the plus side I did get an excuse to go shopping and these clothing pieces are so cute I'm sure that I would wear them all the time even when I'm in Hong Kong also this is not a try on haul because I actually will be wearing these pieces in my coming lookbook which if I have time to film is next week <laughs> But yeah, that is why this is not a try haul But don't worry, just wait for a little while You will see how all these clothes look on me And I believe I've already worn some of these pieces on my Instagram So if you guys want to see the pictures first Just go ahead and head on to my Instagram It is at Lyra Savannah There will be a link in the description box as well And yeah, with the further ado, let's get straight into the video So the first store that I went to was Urban Outfitters I got a black blouse over there and I know it's kind of hard to see but it is a wrap around one honestly the reason that I got this is because I think this is the only clothing piece in this haul that I could wear in two different ways and by two different ways I mean I can wear it like this just like a blouse or I could wear it with the buttons open give me a second I'm just gonna show you guys real quick this can become a light jacket which i think looks so cute and it gives off such a vintage chic vibe that i am completely into right now so yeah i just fell in love with this oh and this was on sale as well so it's a huge plus the next door is a new look i got three pieces there and they are also amazing the first one is actually a jumpsuit 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 how do you even pronounce that i i don't know what's going on with my tongue today but you know what i mean it is light blue with some floral detailing it's super flowy and it's super comfy it's in the petite section this is really amazing i honestly did not think that i would love this so much when i got it i tried it on and i wasn't sure at all i thought about it for like a while more and then I decided to get it but then after wearing it for a few times I just fell in love with it so yeah I'm, I'm just glad that I got this one instead of you know just thinking I can find something better because I really don't think I can <laughs> the next thing that I got is actually a tank top this one is just a regular black tank top with some buttons down the middle and it's really not much to it it fits me really well and it is made of really light material but not see-through so i don't have to worry about showing my bra so yeah perfect for summer the last piece from new look is a dress the style is really similar to the top that i just showed you because again this has this button down detail um yeah to almost the end of this dress whoops that is not easy to show <laughs> sorry about that but yeah this buttons down the middle and it is a pale pink which is my favorite color well actually one of my favorite colors i could never really choose my absolute favorite if you know what i mean but yeah it is really comfy and again it's really lightweight so it's perfect for summer also i love that i can totally dress it up or down with different shoes a huge styling plus <laughs> and then i went to sarah this is not a top that I got to wear while I was in England because as I've mentioned, it's really really hot there and this one is a long sleeve one but I still got it because I just think this looks so beautiful and ooh, let me just mix it better like this yep, there we go so it is navy blue with white polka dots well actually not exactly polka dots if you look really closely they're kind of like squares 
but yeah wait no a rectangle yeah you get the picture it is just kind of like a chiffon material and it is cropped i really like it and what am i even saying i really like everything that i got so i keep repeating that i really like something individually doesn't really help really sorry about that i have to work on my vocabulary and sentence structure in the end i went to forever 21 because i need shoes like i said the weather was much hotter than expected so i actually brought with me a pair of angle boots and i don't want to wear a pair of black boots when it's 30 degrees outside so i decided to go to forever 21 and see if i can get like a cheap pair of sandals or slip-ons or whatever i ended up finding two which was very surprising because my feet it's really really small and nothing ever fits me I'm grateful that that happened because I don't know what I would do if I have to wear my boots for two weeks in such hot weather this is the first pair a pair of slip-ons and it is just well it just pretty self-explanatory it is a pair of flats and I really love the bow at the back I just think that is so cute and it gives me like a really summer picnic vibe so yeah, and they're actually surprisingly comfy too, which is something that I did not thought of when I got it because let's face it, it looks really flat and it's from Forever 21. So the lesson here, don't underestimate Forever 21. <laughs> and then another pair of shoes is, well it's actually not shoes, it's a pair of sandals. It looks like this and let me just try and show you. So basically, you just wrap these around your ankles to secure them again it fits me perfectly it's actually again more comfy than i thought they would be another surprising find in forever 21 i wasn't looking for a bag but i saw a really cute one and i just couldn't help myself it is still in its packing because i have not used it yet but it looks something like this. It is a really mini backpack. Kind of reminds me of a vintage Chanel one. And let's face it, I don't have the kind of money to splurge on a Chanel bag. So I just thought this would be perfect. This is 25 pounds. So I think that is quite a steal. Not to mention I have not seen this bag in Forever 21 in Hong Kong. So I just thought I would get myself this one because it's so cute. And yeah by the way it's really soft like i know it's not real leather but it is so soft so ding i just feel like i kind of hit a jackpot with this so yeah <laughs> in a store called another story i love that store by the way they have the cutest things i found this really cute bag on sale it's navy blue i think it's 50 percent off which was amazing there's a zipper First of all, you just kind of open this up like this and then you just open the zipper and then you have your bag. Initially, I planned to get this for my mom, but then after I showed her this bag, she seems to think it is a little bit small. I mean, she loves it, but she may not be able to use it every day because the size is a bit too small for her to fit all of her stuff in it. So we've just decided to share it, you know. Whoever wants to use the bag that day, just take it. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. My mom and I share everything, like our clothes, our bags, except shoes, because my size is tiny. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot, I actually got another pair of shoes. This is from Office, and it is a pair of Oxford shoes. It is brown, I just think it looks really cute. It was on sale, so only 26 pounds, and they have it in my size, so... I just had to go for it. I actually been wanting a pair of good Oxford shoes for a while now, but I can't really find really cute ones in Hong Kong. So when I saw this, I just decided to get it. Moving on, I actually found a really, really cute vintage store and I got some things. I know you can't really get them since it is from a vintage store, but I just thought I'd show you guys. You guys can definitely find similar things very easily. The first thing is a pair of sunglasses. I just think they look really cool and I'm sorry if it looks a little bit dirty. I haven't had time to clean it yet. So sometimes if I don't want to wear it, I can just put it on my head. Or if I can just wear it. You know, like this. I just thought that they looked so cool and quite unique actually. I really like the shape of it and I love that it is not too big because 
I hate when sunglasses are just way 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 too big if you know what I mean especially in this style I feel like for this type of can I sunglasses you can't really go that oversized I mean you totally can but for me and my face shape I just feel like I want something that's more appropriate in size for me and I just thought this is amazing and then I got a belt this is originally from Esprit but I found it in a vintage store. I just think it looks really, really cute. There's some detailing on it. And yeah, really not much to it. I just thought I could use a pair of brown belts. I also got a pair of vintage Levi shorts. Like I said, it is way too hot for jeans over there. So I got a pair of denim shorts and changed into it as soon as I could. It is a bit oversized, so when I'm wearing it, it kind of looks like those um, mom style denim shorts, which I love. It fits really amazingly. I can totally move around in it and it's really soft also. So yeah, I just thought this would be really nice and it is not expensive at all. This is only 25 pounds. So yeah, considering that I've only got it for less than a month and I've already worn it almost 20 times, I think this is a bargain. <laughs> the last vintage item that I got is actually a watch. This is from another place that I actually don't remember. But yeah, I got a vintage watch and let me try and focus it. Honestly, just a really simple one and that's why I love it actually. I really love something really simple yet chic. I was really on the fence on this because there are some other watches that I was looking at that was really beautiful. But yeah, in the end, I just thought I'd get this because I don't know. It's just a feeling for me. I just think it's really beautiful. I'm sorry, this haul is so long. I'm gonna try to cut some of the stuff that I said. I'll hopefully make it shorter. But anyway, I got an eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty in Harold's. I've actually been wanting this palette for a while now. I was just really unsure, but after seeing it in Harold's again, I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it, and I got it. Another cosmetic item that I got is the Fenty Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This is actually what I'm wearing right now, and I just think that this looks so amazing. It is a matte formula, but it does not dry my lips out, which is amazing. Not to mention the red, I mean, I just cannot get over it. This is really a perfect red shade to add to any girl's collection. If you guys are looking for a good red shade, I would definitely recommend this. So well, that's pretty much everything that I got. For myself, I actually got some gifts for my friends and family as well. I got my mom a watch, but I already gave it to her, so I can't really like, you know, show you guys right now because nobody's at home and I can't just go and take stuff for my family. Of course not. Um, and then I got my brother some T-shirts, and yeah, I think I got my dad a shirt too. I really hope I remember all that right. Oh, and I got tons of like snacks and like you know, stuff for everyone to share. But that's pretty much it. Oh, and I almost forgot for myself, I also got one last thing. This is something that I really, really need and I've been trying to find for so long but haven't had the luck. I finally did in England. I got a little compact mirror. It's the kind that I've been wanting, you know, because this is not a hard case. I don't really know how to say it. I want something soft that when I put it in my bag, it wouldn't make those like sound when it crashes with my other stuff you know if that makes any sense yeah if not I'm sorry this is just kind of my logic and I'm doing my best to explain it but yeah I got a compact mirror this is from Laura Ashley and I believe it is around eight pounds if I remember it right all right so that sums up my England haul I am in no way trying to brag or anything I'm just really excited about all the things that I got and I want to show you guys and you know maybe you guys will see something that you've been looking for and you can go get it as well and like I said I didn't really plan on buying so much clothing before I went on this trip but the weather was really harsh and I had to get some of the stuff so yeah really do hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comment section below i'll be sure to answer them as quickly as i can any future video ideas or whatever i'm always looking for like new ideas because not gonna lie sometimes you know we all get 
those to block where you just don't know what videos to film. I'm just gonna shut up now before I keep rambling on because this haul is already way too long. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video coming every Saturday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Until next time, God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!